When I was in high school, I thought I'd take over my dad's welding business. When I was in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. HVACR. Have you heard of it? The letters stand for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Mostly, it's just called HVAC. But whatever you call it, these systems keep us comfortable and enhance our quality of life. Which is why HVAC service and installation technicians are in high demand. You might even say it's a hot career. I'm Ivy. I'm a service tech over at SCR. SCR is the HVAC industry leader for commercial, industrial, and residential customers. We're diversified. We have a service department that, that just handles you know, service calls, day-to-day -day issues, fixing equipment. We have an installation or construction department that, that installs walk-in coolers, cases, new refrigeration systems. We also have a building automation department, you know, controls, uh, cameras, uh, door access, you know, temperature sensors, product sensors. We have branches in Rochester, we have a branch in Mankato, we have a branch in Baxter, we have service techs in Duluth, so we, we cover the state of Minnesota. As a family-owned company, SCR has been providing quality service for over 60 years in a fast-changing industry by employing and training a team of highly skilled technicians. I work on heating, ventilation, zone dampers, exhaust, walk-in coolers. I'm qualified to fix pretty much about everything. Just look at the schematics, look at how it's wired, how it's piped, and then yeah, start from the basics. For the mechanical side, you have to know how to use tools, not break the tools or break the equipment. You can't just beat on something and hope it fixes it. You actually gotta try and work with it. I like to work, I show up on time, and I'm always ready to learn. It's so neat how everything's put together, like you got so many compressors right there. You got a control board and then everything's just electronically controlled so you can just be on the board and see all the pressures and everything. The hardest thing about the job is probably lifting a bunch of stuff so you got to be strong for this job. One minute you can be up on the roof, the next minute you can be in an ice cold freezer. I could not sit still at a desk like at all and then have the fluorescent lights on me all day. I would rather have the sunshine or clouds at least on me and be outside. A large firm like SCR employs many professionals, including skilled trades like plumbers, electricians, engineers, drafters, accountants, and IT. But service and installation technicians are the driving force and most in demand. My name is Cody Dable and I'm a HVAC tech at SCR Northern. I grew up in Pine River, Minnesota. I went to high school at Pequot Lakes. I work on Walmarts and Targets and stuff like that, but I also work on, on places with big, huge boilers and, and that kind of stuff. So it's a different end of the spectrum. It's not refrigeration. It's, it's you know, million BTU boilers and uh, giant air handlers and things like that. I do enjoy the struggle, the using your head, you know, to, to try to figure out an issue, what's going on, and just kind of look at all the different um, components that play into that issue that you have going on. I like turning a wrench, I like working with my hands and tearing things apart, rebuilding them, and learning what actually happened, what failed, and, and that kind of stuff. So every day is a, is a learning day, and even guys who have been here for 30 plus years learn new stuff every day. It's just kind of part of the job, which makes it fun. Here in Minnesota, there are over 10,000 HVAC industry jobs. And in central Minnesota, the demand for qualified technicians is projected to grow by more than 18% in the next six years. The HVAC career ladder starts with laborers or apprentices. Tech school graduates with enough experience can become installation or service technicians. Farther up the career ladder are foremen, lead service technicians, and department managers. The keys to moving up the career ladder are working hard and having a desire to improve your skills through continued learning. This industry is not going to go away. I mean, everybody needs heating, everybody needs cooling, uh, everybody needs refrigeration. Yeah, there's definitely a career ladder for you at SCR. Uh, we have a lot of techs that started you know, day one out of school that are now lead technicians, that are now service managers. I started as a scrapper and now I'm a service tech and hopefully in a couple years I can be a lead service tech and know a bunch of stuff. The best way to advance in this industry is going to a trade school, finding a tech school, learning the basics, learning the theories. Once you have those basic skills, 
we can add on to that to, to make you successful. There is a two-year training program for HVAC technicians at St. Cloud Technical and Community College and a one-year program at M State in Wadena. You may be eligible for scholarships or employer paid tuition reimbursement to help fund your studies, which is a better way than piling up a mountain of college debt. A good student coming into here to be successful in the field is somebody who likes to get their hands a little bit dirty, likes to dig into stuff, mechanically inclined because you are going to have to turn some wrenches and stuff like that, but also you've got to be able to troubleshoot enjoying finding out what's wrong with something, troubleshooting it, and repairing it. It's a two semester program. You start in August and you end in May. There's so many jobs compared to the amount of people going to school for it. The companies are literally fighting over my students. So if you put forth the effort, if you graduate, yes, you will have a job before you leave here. As a high school student, it's important to start preparing now for your future career. Ask your high school counselor about courses and other opportunities that will help you learn more about HVAC careers. It's heating, it's ventilation, it's air conditioning, it's refrigeration, it's, it's comfort. You know, you work a lot of hours, but, but the pay and, and everything like that makes it all worth it and the knowledge gained as well. If you want to work, I'd say go for this career. You'll get paid as much work as you put in. Choosing a career and educational path after high school is one of the most important decisions you can make. In a time of life when there are more questions than answers, the Bridges Career Academies and Workplace Connection provides information about education and career pathways and gives you the tools you need to make a smart choice, one that's right for you and right for your future. To learn more, visit bridgesconnection.org.